and with me today to give me that tour of Bailey's Produce and Nursery are Don and Cindy Bailey, Hi. third Hi. generation owners of Bailey's Produce and Nursery. Thank you so much for having me out. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Cindy, tell me a little bit about the history of Bailey's. Well, Bailey's is a third generation business. My husband's grandparents um, started in the produce business back in the 30s on Palafox Street uh, and carried that through decades. And of course, then his parents took over the, the tradition of that um, on Fairfield Drive. Many people know that Bailey's Farmer's Market was there for many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we continue that that tradition today. And you still have the Jolly Green Giant. I'm so we glad do. you still have the Jolly <laughs> And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Don, tell me about the rich history of your family. Because that's, you know, we were talking earlier and you were telling me the stories. Tell me about your grandparents and how they started. Well, they were originally from Jay. Mm -hmm. And back here in the 30s, they moved to Palafox and they had a produce market. And they also had a, re and a wholesale market, sent us up to Chicago, New York. And then my dad, he opened the, the market on 1964. It was called Pottery Plant Road back then. It's, it's across from the old fairground used to be. Well, it's an even black top at that time. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was a two-lane road back then. Now, now, that's the Baileys I remember because I used to go there years and years and years ago. And that was back in 1964. I was born in 64, so that's a mm -hmm. real poignant year for me. Backing up a little bit, though, to your grandparents, what was the, it, they had a different name, didn't they? It wasn't Bailey's Produce. Bailey's Curb Market. Bailey's Curb Market. Do you remember anything about um, your parents' store when you were growing up? I, I know your brothers and sisters all worked there. Yeah, we all worked together as we were growing up. It's a family operated business. We unloaded watermelons, peaches, carry out the whole nine yards. You name it, you did it, we right? Did every, we ran the cash register, we did everything. He also, I'm sure, uh, caused his grandmother uh, a lot of challenges. I'm sure he pilfered a few oranges and bananas from his grandmother in her day. <laughs> I, I bet so. I bet she so. had candy. I worked on the candy. <laughs> on the candy. Oh, you worked on the candy. <laughs> I worked on the candy. Now back then, you didn't. I mean, today, what I see. I mean, you have a full nursery, and you have food to go, and you have produce. It has really expanded. Tell me about your expansion and what all you do now. Well, what we're trying to do is look at the current market. You know, mm -hmm. what are our customers asking for? And of course, you know, we've done the nursery for a long time, but and just build that upon what people tell me every year that they're looking for. Sure. So we go and we shop for it. As far as the nursery, I mean, we handpick most of our plants. We go to South Florida, we go mm -hmm. to Mississippi, Alabama, and we pick those ourselves. So we try to, you know, know the, the growers that we're working with, and we handpick them so we know we've got great quality. Buying from a local market like Bailey's Produce and Nursery is a true Gulf Coast experience for the whole family. And because local farmers grow and raise produce, it guarantees authenticity, quality, freshness, and vitally retained nutrients. And it's just plain fun. So hop in the car and bring the kids to Bailey's Produce and Nursery. I'm Malia Allen, and thanks for joining us.